Alrighty guys, welcome to this vlog. And now this, this, my friends, is a little something different. This is a restoration project of a lawnmower that my grandpa had. Uh, must have been, I, I think guys, I believe he had this before I was born. Now, it is a T25 Key Manufacturing Company, Samoset, Florida. I have not looked this up yet. So we will, uh, you know, I will in just a minute. Back will look it up and we'll see if this thing looks original, see what it looks like. I don't know. All I know is it was the best push mower that my family ever owned. And we need one, sort of like a good, we need a good push mower because my backyard's a jungle and I, I'm going to bush hog it. So join us. Join us in the restoration of a key 25. Now, you know what? I can go ahead and show you basically. Well, look at it, guys. You can basically tell it's, a, you know, the front tires or wheel. It's, there's one, I think. I don't know if that's stock or not because if you look there, it's got like a triangular shape for the bolts and screws. And there's some there, some there. So I don't know if that's stock. That may have been added. Here's the pulley. What you do is you put your motor right there. Put your belt on with your motor, you know, around the, the pulley here. And pull the motor back, tighten the belt, tighten that bolt to tighten the motor. And then that's it. You start it and go. This thing was the best push mower I've ever seen. Oh, sorry, guys. I'm trying to tip it over by my lonesome. Now, this is the bottom. Look at this. Holy cow. Old as the hills. But uh amazing i mean this blade is the original blade look at that i'm gonna sharpen it i'm gonna leave it original you can see the the way it connects here i, I am four into this i know nothing about this mower i do know that the bearings in there must be amazing because there are i'm 45 i know that thing was it <laughs> look at Polly boy <laughs> look at him he had his head turned look what's that i'm 45 <laughs> And I know my grandpa's had it his whole life. So guys, go in the comments and let me know if anybody has ever had, especially people in Florida. See, I'm from Florida. So a lot of our, you know, old stuff came from Florida. Um, Cause this is in Samoset, Florida. You know, back in the day, people used to buy local and from manufacturing companies that were close to them and whatnot. But anyways, look at it. Oh, also, this is a uh, little tidbit. These wheels are from, I believe, like my, it's not 88, maybe, 88, 89, maybe before that, 86, 87, I had a, uh, a freestyle bike, you know, and that's the wheels that came off of it. They were pink. My bike was gray and pink, and that, you can see the pink in them. See it? See the pink in them? That's crazy, man, but my brother did restore this my brother jimmy did restore this once and he did a fantastic job of it it wasn't green and black from the beginning and it didn't have those bicycle wheels on it it had wheels on it but not those um that's it so let me tell you what i'm doing i'm going to harbor freight i'm going to buy the six and a half horsepower predator horizontal shaft engine we're gonna mount it there i'm gonna put the belt on there we're leaving everything else exactly as you see it, except for paint. I'm gonna sand it down a little bit, paint it. I'm not even gonna sand it that much, just if there's any rough spots or rust over there, try to get that off, because I'm just gonna, you know, basically leave it like it is. Or I could just clear it. Just leave it like it is, leave the patina, leave everything. But I think I'll, I'll sand a little bit on it and I'll paint it red and black to match my truck and my everything else I own. So that's it, guys. Or stick along, stick around. I think there's something trying to attack me. It's some kind of wasp, that's why it's that way. But, uh, but anyways, sorry. Got off track there because it was a bug attacking. I think I'm gonna paint it red and black, so just stick around. I'm, what I'm going to do is I have a GoPro. Um, I'm going to put it on time lapse and let it go while I work on this thing and we'll see where it takes us. And then I'll show you the backyard before I mow it. <laughs> then I'll show you it 
after I mow it, and we'll see how it all turns out. Probably be about two, three videos. We love you guys. Thumbs up and share. It is never too late to restore an old mower like this. That mower says, I want to be restored. I want to bush hog your backyard. And I say, you can. You can. That's what he wants, and that's what we're going to do. Because let me tell you something, guys. Everything is thrown of garbage now. Everybody throws everything away, and it's making a mess of our planet. Well, number one, the plastics are ridiculous. Everything's made of plastic. And another thing is your right to repair and a ability to repair. It's ridiculous anymore. Nobody wants you to fix anything. They want you to break it, throw it away, and go buy another one. And that, that, I say nay, right? Nay. Nay. I've got a 1940 lawnmower. And my truck's a 99, and I will never get rid of that truck. It's got a 350 in it, and it shall stick with a 350 unless we go big block. But anyways, mower. Mower. Love y'all. Thumbs up, shares, and everybody's gonna do it. And we will see you tomorrow. 23 Skidoo. Wait.